we are going to start by connecting the right compartment to the left because our drain coming out of the floor is on the left side. So it makes no sense to go in the opposite direction. Welcome back to another video by the Building Expert team. And let's start by installing an inch and half trap adapters on tailpieces. Keep them in the middle of tailpieces so you can raise or lower them later to gain the correct slope. We will be using a 90 on the right compartment and a sanitary tee on the left to connect them together. Connect the 90 and T2 trap adapters and keep them at about the same height. Make sure to use the right type of cement. I am using ABS pipe and fittings, so I am using ABS cement. Tail pieces should not extend to the bottom of fittings because that can restrict drain flow and cause backups. If it does, you can lower your trap adapters or use a longer piece between trap adapters and fittings. Now it's time to install the dishwasher Y. It can be installed anywhere between both compartments. Just make sure that the flow of the dishwasher Y is towards the drain and facing upwards. Once the dishwasher Y is installed, Measure the piece that will go between the 90 and the dishwasher Y and glue them. You can see that I am keeping the writing on the pipe in the back for a cleaner look. Once it's glued together, check for slope. It should be sloping towards the drain. Correct slope for an inch and half pipe is quarter inch per foot. To gain the correct slope, raise or lower your trap adapters. Now it's time to connect the bottom of the T to the drain pipe. To start, install a clean out at the bottom of the drain pipe for future cleaning of the drain. Since our drain coming out of the floor is 2 inches, we will install a 2 by inch and half T to connect our drain to compartments. If your drain is an inch and half, install an inch and half T. Don't install the T too high on the drain pipe. That will lead your P trap to be higher than the bottom of your compartment T. Ideally, if you install your T 3 to 4 inches lower than your compartment T, it will work just fine. Install your drain T angle in a way that you achieve the minimum trap arm length by offsetting the P-trap, which is 3 inches for an inch and a half pipe, or twice the pipe diameter. Do not hesitate to dry fit these fittings to achieve the correct angle. Now place your P-trap in front of the T and measure the length of the pipe that will go between the compartment T and the P-trap. Then cut that piece and glue it to the P-trap.
Now dry fit the P-trap into the compartment T and align the P-trap 90 with the drain T. Once they are aligned, measure the length of the pipe that will go between them and cut that piece. Now glue that piece we just cut into the P-trap 90 and glue it to the drain T and level it. Now glue everything together. This completes our drain installation and it's time to install the vent. For venting, we are going to install this device called air admittance valve, often called a cheater vent. It is installed where the installation of vent pipe is not an option, such as in renovations or it is used in island sink drains. It allows the air to enter the system when negative pressure develops caused by water flow, but does not let sewer gases out. It is recommended to install the AAV as high as possible. For this installation, we are going to install this device 8 inches higher than our trap arm tee. Simply glue the pipe into the adapter and glue it to the trap arm tee. Add a few turns of Teflon tape to the threads and tighten the AAV into the adapter. Finally, it's time to install our dishwasher drain to the dishwasher Y. Use a gear clamp to tighten the dishwasher drain to the dishwasher Y. I will put links to all the materials we used in the description below. That's all for today's video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.